Hey there, my name is Dan and I'm a consultant at ProVal Tech. Today I want to go over the basics on creating a new agent procedure. Agent procedures are integral to fully utilizing what Kaseya has to offer and will go a long way towards automating your workflow. Let's get into it. First, log into your VSA and browse to Agent Procedures, Manage Procedures, Schedule and Create. Select the directory that you want to save the new procedure in and click New Procedure in the toolbar at the top of the window. A new tab will open with the Procedure Editor. Type a name for the procedure and ensure that the proper directory is selected and then click New. We'll call this one Test Procedure. All right, you can now begin creating your procedure. You'll note that on the left-hand side are all of the statements that you can use in your new procedure, as well as a handy search field to easily find what you need. Let's search for shell. And we're going to select in this list, shell command. Once I double click that, you'll see that it appears in the procedure editor. Now on the right-hand side, you'll notice that you have a list of all of the parameters that you can modify for your statement. So in the command, I'm just going to end up pad.exe. This will run a command prompt command to open notepad on the target computer. You could do a lot more with agent procedures, of course. You'll see that there are several functions at the top of the screen, such as copy and cut and paste, delete, insert line, or indent and outdent lines. We'll go into these in more detail in a later video. When you're happy with your procedure, let's go ahead and click File and Save. It does take a while, and we do recommend that you wait for that spinning circle to disappear before moving on. Now, of course, now that we've made the procedure, we want to make sure that it's working as expected. So we can go back to our VSA, and sometimes you have to refresh it to see it in the list. I usually just swap pages. And then we'll see our new test procedure there. We can see that it was created today. Now what we want to do is select the machine we want to test it on. I already have a machine ID filled out in our filters here, so only one machine appears in our list. You may have more or less. So we'll check that, and then we're going to select Run Now. In a few moments, you'll see that procedure go, to, go into effect on the workstation. Success. If your procedure doesn't run as you would expect, you can go into the procedure logs and find out what may be causing that issue to occur. We will go into that in a little as well. So that is the basics on how to create a new agent procedure and the basics on how to use the procedure editor. I thank you for watching. We post a new video every week to share our knowledge on Kaseya. To learn more about what we do, visit ProValTech.com, which is linked below in the video description.